And one more high profile sign of the shutdown tonight, this time inside the White House. President Trump hosting the national champion Clemson football team for dinner, only there was nobody there to cook the food. So plan B it was. The reason we did this is because of the shutdown. President Trump welcomed the 2018 college football playoff national champion Clemson Tigers to the White House with a spread from McDonald's, Burger King and Wendy's, along with some pizza. Because of the government shutdown, White House chefs are on furlough and not available to prepare a meal for the players who didn't seem to mind eating fast food. I like it all. I like it all. It's all good stuff. Great, great American food. The shutdown is already the longest in U.S. history, and the president told a farmers' convention in New Orleans it won't end until he gets his border wall. We're dealing against people who think that if they can stop me from building the wall, again, we've already done a lot of work, but they think that's a good thing for 2020. Democrats say the government will reopen as soon as the president stops insisting on a wall. He refuses to back down from his position that the price to reopen the government is $5.7 billion of taxpayer money for a wall he promised Mexico would pay for. Okay. Reopen the government, stop harming our country and our economy, and let's make our best efforts, because we all agree we need to invest more in border security. Well, back to tonight's impromptu fast food dinner at the White House. President Trump told reporters that he paid for the meal with his own money. No apparent complaints from the team, though one said their nutritionist must be having a fit tonight.